Thank you, Chairwoman, Chairwoman Waters. Mr. Zuckerberg, I want to get through a, a number of questions, diverse asset management, fair housing issues, diversity and inclusion, and privacy and security. Diversity and inclusion is very important to me, and it's personal for me. I've been here before with uh, Facebook about the lack of diversity and inclusion. I've discussed this repeatedly with your company over the past years. I'm vice chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, and the Congressional Black Caucus, for the record, has had multiple meetings with your company, and here we are again. Let, let me get into asset management. Certainly that's a large industry, as we know, uh, something like a $70 trillion industry. Uh, Facebook has more than $46 billion on record in cash or cash equivalents and marketable securities. Are any of these funds managed by diverse owned companies? Yes or no? Uh, yes or no? Congresswoman, yes or no? I, I don't. I don't believe. So I take that as a no. You have a stable of big law firms that work on your legal cases around the country. How many diverse-owned or women-owned law firms are contracted by Facebook? Number. Just give me a number or range. Congresswoman, I don't know. I take that as I don't know. How many women or minority partners work on these cases? Congresswoman, I don't know the answer to that okay. question off the top so of my head. So did I'm you review the packet? Let my time. Did you review the packet that went out in notification to you and your team about what was included today and diverse asset management was in it? Did you read that? Uh, Congresswoman, I, I There's a piece would. of legislation that I'm working on that was in the packet. Did you or your team review it? I mean, I, everybody's talked about your scholarly resume. Did you review the packet that was sent to you from this committee? Obviously, that's a no. Let me go to something you introduced. You introduced Laura Murphy. So you know who Laura Murphy is because you said her name, right? Yes. Okay, so you hired her as a consultant. And in your opening statement, you talked a lot about civil rights. I think we should probably phrase it a little differently, that you work with civil rights work is because it's a result of the number of lawsuits that you've had, and NAACP. Even Secretary Ben Carson filed a fair housing uh, lawsuit against you for violations. So let me ask you this. Do you know what redlining is? Uh, yes. Okay, then you should have known better. And maybe if you had real diversity or inclusion on your team, somebody in that room would have said what you were doing when you looked at what you were doing in the housing, how you were redlining or using zip codes to eliminate people from getting information. Now, have you read the report that Laura Murphy sent to you? Uh, you you've I talked a lot about diversity and you introduced her name that about this great study in her work. Have you read it? Do you know what the recommendations were? Do you know when she issued the report? Yes or no? I've seen the report. Okay, tell me what the top three things were, because I, I have it right here. What were the top three things in her report? Somebody talked about lying in this committee. I'm only, I'm only saying. Well, one of them was around housing ads, which we've talked about. The other was around setting up a civil rights task force. And, and uh, who's on the Civil Rights Task Force? Cheryl Sandberg is the person who, who she's... Well, civil rights. Okay, we know Cheryl's not really civil rights, so I'm trying to help you here. She's your COO, and I don't think there's anything, and I know Cheryl well, about civil rights and her background. So come better than that for me, if we're going to talk civil rights. It's an internal task force. Do you know who the, do you know who the firm that you employ for civil rights is? Uh, Congressman, I, I don't know. How could you not know when you have employed the most historical, the largest civil rights comp firm to deal with issues that are major? And, and this is what's so frustrating to me. It's almost like you think this is a joke. When you have ruined the lives of many people, discriminated against them, do you know what percentage of African Americans are on Facebook? in comparison to majority folks? Do you know what the percentages are? People using the Facebook. Yes. Do you know what the percentages are for African Americans? I don't because we don't collect the races of people. Well, it, 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 it came out in a report and in the Pew Research uh, Center that was sent to you. So maybe you just don't read a lot of things that deal with civil rights or African Americans. 
I have a lot of questions I'm going to send to you that I'm not going to be able to get through, and I would like an answer because this is appalling and disgusting to me, and I yield back. 